Yeah, what do you want to know? My name is Peter Boja. I own a vintage repair shop in Brooklyn, New York. Having a small uh, show of Italian sporting bikes from the 1970s, which in my opinion uh, is like one of the most interesting, innovative, and like stylish times for motorcycling. The new king of motorcycle road racing on 1970, months of intensive preparation had convinced the team that the 750's frame would hold steady at tremendous speed. Italian bikes of the 70s were um, immediately iconic. Previously, they'd all been building much smaller bikes. In 69, Honda came out with the 750 four-cylinder, and all of a sudden, Italy thought they'd better get on with it so that they could be competitive. And indeed, they were, but Italian style is Italian style. The Honda may be the beginning of the Japanese invasion of global markets, but the Italian bikes were uh, something else. I'm Henry Carter, I am the store manager of Union Garage. This event is a bunch of stuff. It's probably the best collection of Italian superbikes from the 70s that I've ever seen. It's a really good way for anyone who's into motorcycles to come see some of the best examples of true sporting motorcycles. The show appeals to everyone because the bikes, it doesn't matter if you know anything about the history of them, these motorcycles are special. Uh, I'm Chris Lesser, I'm the owner of Union Garage and one of the organizers of this show. A lot of these bikes have direct DNA from the race bikes. They are all sporting bikes. That's one of the filters that we applied. Everything has a drop handlebar, often a sport solo seat. They're carbureted, fire-breathing, elemental, very simple and pure form of motorcycles. They're very rare. Some of them are worth a quarter million dollars. And they're all highly aspirational bikes towards some of the race product that these companies were putting out in the day. The golden age of motorcycling is the 1970s, and what was available then was absolutely amazing. You know, the Italian bikes of the 70s do a great job of walking the line between design and sport probably better than any other bikes. You look at La Verda, La Verda was a, a tractor company. They were making harvesters up until they decided to start making motorcycles in the 50s. There's one in the store that's still being raced to this day. You just rebuild them again and again. That's the, the tractor engineering. It's certainly a unique event. Where else do you have a gathering of great motorcycles and great enthusiasts from all over the world. I mean literally all over the world. I really like the the gold Laverda 750 SF because it's just gold. It's great. The Magni. The Magni is really cool. It's just unadulterated, sexy, Italian race machine. Well, it has to be a Laverda, and it has to be a Laverda 750 SFC. That's a 1972 Laverda SFC. It's probably one of 15 unrestored SFCs in the world that, that are known. And it has the original points, condensers, coils, everything. It drips with sex. The sound of the motor is out of this world. If it has a two into one exhaust, it sounds like a cross-cut buzz saw going through metal. If it has a dual exhaust, it mellows it out, but you can still make the booty shake. Ecco l'importanza che già dalla pedana. Because when you roll on the throttle, it's a parallel twin, it just cooks back and forth. It wants to be on the road fucking ripping. And that bike is, it, that does it for me. These bikes, they grab you, they own you, and you own them. And if you really connect to the thing that you own, then it's real. That's why I do what I do, because otherwise, you know, why get up in the morning? So, yeah. You want more? That was good. <laughs> okay.